Hi guys, it's coming up to midnight. I just got off the phone to mum, hence the late video. <laughs> I actually decided, because I've had a few new subscribers recently, that I would just uh, do a quick video on my various interests. So they can learn a little bit about me. So, I'm going to start here in the lounge, as that's where I am. That's the first one. Probably my biggest hobby. Interest. Call it what you will. There's Nemo sitting on the end. I've got these shelves all full. All along there. <laughs> that's just everywhere in this lounge you look is just Lego. So you will see that on a regular basis in the background of the videos. Next thing. I like old technology, especially from the 80s. I don't know why. The 80s just seemed to be my favourite decade. So, I've got this Marantz Hi-Fi system. Stack system, I might add. Which would have... It's... I managed to date it from around 1985 to 1986 and that would have been quite a top of the range model because it actually has a built in CD player or a CD player section I should say. Can't really say it's built in because it, like I said it's a stack system, they're all separates. The only thing that doesn't work is the turntable up here because the belt is broken. In fact the belt disintegrated when I had a look at it. <laughs> I've also got Marantz single tape deck down there, because these ones, neither of them like to rewind. And I'm not sure if it's the system, and I do hate it when he does that, because this moves, and he has knocked this off before. I'm not sure if it's the tape decks or if I was putting a dodgy tape in there or something, but anyway. It's something I'll look at one day. <laughs> I've got the Marantz single tape deck down there and it sounds absolutely great from that. I've got that connected to this anyway so I could use either or. I've got my PlayStation 2 set up there, my PlayStation 3. Uh, all those PlayStation 2 games and a few accessories including a gun and a couple of cameras and whatnot. And a reload pedal thing there for the gun. A couple of cheap books as well that I managed to pick up. Anything else in here that I can think of? Nope. That's the main computer rig. That's a spare computer rig with dirty dishes sitting on top of it. Uh, computers. I do like computers. Uh, I would say I'm probably more interested in computers from the early 1990s, sort of Windows 3.1 onwards, that sort of era. Not necessarily Microsoft Windows, because I have got a couple of um, Apple computers kicking around. I've got that Sony Vio there, that's on Windows XP, and it's got video capture devices on it, so I can connect uh, that VCR and that DVD recorder is actually connected to it via the back connections. I've got a Windows XP computer right there, which is a custom build gaming rig that I built. And another Dell Dimension, I think that's the 4600 sitting there on Windows XP that I restored. And I've got the Optiplex there that I restored. And I've got, look at that for some old school, I've got a portable stereo there, CD player, tape deck, all sorts. CRT TV there, there's another one up the corner there. Then I've got a Windows XP machine there, an HP one, I believe. No, an Advent one. And I've got another Dell Dimension there, but I've forgotten the model number. That, just for giggles, I put Windows 2000 on that one. Then I've got that white one, which is on Windows Millennium Edition. Uh, and I've got that big old CRT TV there that I've got my... Uh, older consoles connected to. I've got that record player on there, right there, which I'm actually going to be selling that one. 
this is the record player I'm going to be keeping. Complete with records, no peas and whatnot, floppy disks. So yeah, I do like my old technology. There's a black and white TV there. Right there, I've got a Sinclair ZX Spectrum, which is going to go up for sale soon. And there, underneath the Apple keyboard, is an old Amstrad. That will be going up for sale as well. And I've got a spare PlayStation 1 down there. Uh, yeah, so I do like my old computers and some old technology. I actually have got... One of those mini battery TVs that were popular back in the 1990s. That you could either run from at least six double or four double A batteries, I should say, or an external power supply. Now I've got one of those. That's in a drawer down there. I've got an old um, scanner radio from the 1970s, I think. I'm not actually sure where that's gone. It might be in that drawer down there. I've got that 80s um, portable radio here. I paid £2.04 from a car boot sale. It works, it's just a tape deck. It's a bit iffy on that one. That needs a service. So, yeah. I think um, I've got another interest, which is the bicycles. I do like to build them. You know, projects and I do get some that I uh, repair and sell on again. This is going to be one of those projects. I'm going to repaint it so I can get the paint for a pound a tin out of QD stores in town. So I'm just going to pick a colour and get a few, at least three tins for the colour. A couple of tins of lacquer, so at least five pounds spent and I'll have a nice bike there and aside from my time put into it to um, put it back together afterwards I'm not really going to lose anything because I could still get £25 for it when it's done so there's another project <laughs> it's a work it's been a work in progress for about three months actually probably lo no longer than that Marcus. I technically class myself as being a brony for three months, so yeah, that's at least six months I've had that as an ongoing project. Yep. I am a brony as well. I think I've got too many interests, personally. But that is one that I will never give up, and the Lego is the one that I'll never give up, and the computers is the one that I'll never give up. Oh, there. Got me tongue in a total twist there. Computers I won't give up either. The bikes... I could easily give up, but that is mostly, I do that mostly just as a extra income thing, because uh, I have been diagnosed with autism, so I am on the autis autism spectrum, autistic spectrum, rather, uh, that was almost, actually it might have been, no, it's more than a year ago I had that diagnosis, nearly a year, nearly two years ago, ooh, time's flown. Yeah. So, that might explain all the umpteen hobbies and interests. Trust me, if I actually had the room and the time, the list of interests would be a lot bigger. Um, such as building electronic circuit kits. Because you can buy them cheap as chips on eBay. Various little kits and things that you can build yourself. Uh, which I might still do if I ever get bored, because uh, I've got a couple in here. I've got this clock that I built. It is an actual clock. It does work if I connect um, a power supply to the terminals there. Uh, my soldering really does need some practice, but it's not the worst. <laughs> there was a loose solder joint on there somewhere. There's another circuit in here I built as well. Some where every kitchen has to have a junk drawer. Yep. Double A battery pack sitting in there. Got some kitchen sink spares in case they break. Batteries. Yeah, there's another one in here somewhere. Meant to be an electronic doorbell. It's not very loud, but it does work. Oh, a 
else in there somewhere. <laughs> a few computers hiding under there. I've got one of these days I will sort through these because I might get rid of those two and that Dell because I can't be bothered with that Dell anymore. This creamy coloured one here I was going to build into a Windows 98 machine. That's a Dell server. I want to get that set up as a server but it needs a motherboard. Or if I can get this one to work, the Apple Mac G4 server, I could use that as a server computer and actually run an Apple. It needs a few bits, it's got hard drive caddies and whatnot missing, but it does turn on. I just got to figure out how to install an operating system onto it. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, that's a quick run through of my interests. Uh, I'm also rather untidy as you can see and well I was going to say disorganised but my Lego is very well organised and uh, if you're thinking it took me a long time to organise all this Lego as it is you'd be absolutely correct <laughs> it has it's taken me a very long time. In fact, I think it took me about two years to get it to the stage it's at in regards to being organised. Uh, in case you're wondering what that is, that's an e box of eBay stuff eventually, but I'm going to do those two computers first. Um, I've got another project outside the front door to do. Uh, I swapped, basically swapped a mountain bike for a mountain bike. Someone was after a um, working bike and they weren't fussy and I said that's all I've got at the minute. And I ain't got no men's mountain bikes. Not that I would have swapped for that one anyway. It was a ladies mountain bike. Needs a chain, needs a service. The chain I might steal off of um, the bike frame that's laying in the bedroom. Just because it's going to make life a lot easier. Um, needs a seat bolted back on. It's got a seat with it. just needs bolting on. As far as I can tell, that is it. And because it's a nice shade of purple, I think that would probably sell easier than the one, the ladies' mountain bike I swapped for it. Yeah, the lad really didn't seem like he was actually bothered so long as he had a bike that worked, so... <clears throat> I like people like that because you know they're easy to please. <laughs> I'm like that. I'm I'm not fuss a fuss pot. Right. Oh, <laughs> I've got a cupboard full of old laptops as well. There's one hiding under there, right there. It's on Windows 98, which I use to play some of the um, older games I've got. I've actually got several Windows 98 laptops. I'll have to go through the cupboard and show you one day. <clears throat> Anywho. <laughs> Been a little bit down today because uh, there's some um, My Little Pony plushy toys on eBay that I want and I've got no money to get them with. I've been feeling sad all day. Oh well. If they're still there when I next get paid, I'll grab a couple then. It's just that there's one seller on there. Has actually sold one that I wanted. I noticed that today. And it did sell today because it was still available when I looked this morning. But I looked tonight and it had been sold. She's got... for at least five more left that I would like. Actually there's a couple there I'm not too fussed on. So there's at least three she's got that I would like. So I've either got to find some money between now and next week or just hope that they are still there when I next get paid. <laughs> but yeah, 
If you're wondering, no I'm not employed unless you count me spending a couple of hours a week fixing bikes and selling them as work. Yes, the DWP does know. It's all been um, signed off with them. Because uh, I'm on employment and support allowance, which does actually allow me to do a little bit like that. But uh, this time of year is always slow anyway. I think I'd be, I think I would be better off putting things on eBay, but I can't do that because I need to pay my eBay fees, and I can't do that till I get some money. So I need to get some, well, I'm going to say some bikes, but I've only got one. I need to get that lady's bike done tomorrow and up for sale and hope I can sell that so I can clear my eBay fees, which isn't a great deal. 15 quid, I think, if memory serves correct. Actually, a bit less than that, 14 pounds, something or other. And then I can list those two computers up. That's 40 quid there, because they're worth at least 20 quid each. I'm not taking any less than that for those, because I know that's what I'd get. And I will, um, when I take my photos, I will turn the black and white on and uh, show them both connected and working. I'm going to keep the black and white TV. That's too good to throw that out. And they're rare these days. <laughs> I'm all black and white poor. There's another thing I rescued from over here. I rescued all sorts from here when the town council moved out from there. You know, they had a big skip over there. I rescued all sorts. Because uh, that's where these tabletops came from. From my two tables here. I um, asked on the town council Facebook group if I could... Uh, just rescue those tables out of the skip because I could see them from my window and the town mayor replied to my question on the group and said um, help yourself so I went in the skip and helped myself <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I got that I got a few other bits and bobs that I thought were interesting some um Road barriers for road works that I'd thrown in there, and that roundabout bollard. I'm sitting around their yard for I don't know how long. But uh, it's actually a custom lamp now because I've got a multi coloured um, remote controlled LED bulb in that. I won't show you it today because I am actually running out of time now. But uh, I will show you that at some point. Probably tomorrow. I might run that tomorrow. So I've got to clear all that corner out because I've got to take the bin down. Bins down I should say. And do a uh, Sir's litter tray. There's another reason I came through here and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I've got a thing for lights. See I've got that light up there. All my lights, apart from the bathroom and the kitchen, are all converted to LEDs. Uh, definitely worth the investment, because that really has cut down my um, electricity consumption. So, I, am, I would recommend it. They're not the cheapest bulbs, but they do last a heck of a long time. And they do save on your electric bill, so, yeah. Invest invest in them. I've noticed a big difference on my electric bill uh, and I am actually tempted to change the light fitting in the bathroom so I can put an LED in there as well. And I'm not too fussed about the kitchen because I use that light the least. <coughs> Even that's LED. There's two 3 watt LEDs up there. So yeah, it's not bad for 3 watt LEDs is it? It's the equivalent to a 40 watt light bulb, an ordinary 40 watt light bulb. I've even got LEDs in there, I've got a 3 watt LED in that one. I've got two of those actually. I've got one on the wall over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. I forgot the sound in case anyone was interested. 
all the Lego on these two shelves and up there is all my vintage stuff. That far shelf is 1970s Lego, 1980s on this one, 1980s up there, 1990s space sets from the 1980s. And I've got a mix on this shelf of modern 80s and 70s. And that's near enough modern, apart from that big 1990s police lorry over the back there. I've got quite a large collection. And just to note that I don't have all of the sets I own made up. Um... If I actually made up all the sets I own, I wouldn't have as much Lego loose as I have. Yeah, there is loads. There's probably a good hundred sets that are not made up, if not more. Probably a bit more than that, I would say. But, uh, anyway, let me call it quits for this video and get it uploaded, because I haven't loaded one. I just lent on my wrist wrong. <laughs> that wasn't very clever. Yeah, I haven't uh, uploaded one for a couple of days. I used to want to get a video up every day, but it's just going to be, at the very least, every two days. Because sometimes I might just feel like taking a break here and there. Especially if I'm not doing a lot or haven't done a lot to talk about, so... So uh, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, of course. You can also dislike if you want to. I'm not bothered. As I've always said, it's your opinion. You're welcome to your opinion. Just don't be a dick about it. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that bothers me. Just don't be a dick about your opinions and views and whatnot. You know, you can have your... Get, you can get your points across and your views and whatnot across without being a dick. Anyway, on that note, thanks for watching. <laughs> a cat has just flashed past. <laughs> thanks for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Try to find the button. Bye.